How to buy crypto on KuCoin application, easy tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with purchasing crypto on the KuCoin application. So let's get into it. Now, first off, all you need to do is head on over to your app store over here. And once you go into your application store or Google Play store, just search for KuCoin. And once you search for KuCoin over here, you will find two applications so the top one is the actual marketplace or the exchange and then on the bottom you also have a kucoin wallet so you can do some basic purchases on the kucoin wallet even so if you don't really need the exchange you can directly go into the wallet and use that to store your crypto and buy some crypto however we're going to be using the exchange which is the actual platform that is used to purchase crypto and sell crypto so just download this application which is kucoin or buy bitcoin and crypto and and once you have downloaded this, you will head on over and open the application. Now, once you've opened the application, you can sign up by clicking on the top left over here. I have already logged into my account, but you can log in and sign up. And once you've done that, you need to make sure you have completed ID verification to be able to purchase crypto. Now, there are multiple different ways that you can purchase crypto, and we're going to be focusing on crypto tokens directly, not on fiat currencies, because you can purchase crypto with fiat, but everyone knows that already. But first off, what you're going to do is click on more over here and you will see all of the basic quick access features of the KuCoin application. From here, you're simply going to click on the person-to-person -person trading. So this is one of the most basic ways to purchase a crypto token. So in the asset section, just click on person-to-person. And from here, you can change that into fast trade. And in fast trade, you can go on ahead and select Ethereum, Bitcoin, or KCS and go on ahead and purchase that via Banksa, Simplex, BTC Direct, or Legend Trading. And this is one of the most basic ways to purchase crypto. Now, other than that, in your asset section, you also have your bank card. So you can click on the bank card section, it will open up fast trade as well. Then you can also click on third party. And you can select a crypto token of your choice from the third party section. And a fast trade only allows you to purchase BTC or Ethereum. However, third party application trading, such as Simplex or Banksa, where you will input your payment method as your Apple Pay bank transfer or MasterCard info. And then the payment will be processed via the processing channel of Simplex or Banksa. And this will enable you to purchase any token of your choice. So you can see there are so many different tokens available for this. Let's say I want to buy the SHIB token so i will simply search for ship over here and once i click on ship over here i can enter how much usd i want to purchase it for the minimum amount is 50 usd so you need to spend at least 50 usd i will enter that over here and once you have done that you will simply click on done and you will click on confirm over here so once you do that, you will agree to the terms of service and then click on confirm to continue with your purchase and you will just enter your visa or MasterCard info to begin your purchase. So that is how simple and easy it is to purchase a crypto token using your uh, basic credit card, Apple Pay or bank info. So those are one of the most basic ways to purchase crypto. Now, if you want to deposit fiat currency or you want to take your USD from your bank, convert it to USDT and then use that usdt buy a crypto token of your choice especially if you're into alt trading then the token launches are very difficult to get on hold of so you might want to deposit fiat beforehand and then use it as soon as the token is launched so for that just click on deposit on the top left over here and then uh, you're going to click on fiat and then you will f deposit any fiat of choice whatever fiat that you might have use your visa or mastercard whatever payment offers that you get you can get multiple different payment processors depending on your location and you will deposit that us uh, your you know your fiat such as usd directly into your account so once you do that you can click on your assets over here and you will be able to view your assets and uh, be able to monitor those and you can click on the main overview section to see all of the assets that you have and then you can click on transfer and transfer those assets to a different wallet or to go back into your home section and you can click on more over here and you will click on the convert section so you will find convert in the trade section so you will click on convert and then you will choose the fiat that you have chosen 
So let's say that I used my fiat currency to get USDT, so I will just enter that and then convert that into any token of choice. So I can enter the token that I want to get in exchange for my fiat currency to get, you know, the token of my choice. So in that way, you can also get tokens. Now, if you want to buy tokens at a lower price, if you want to save them money, then you need to go into the spot trading charts. Now, a lot of people wonder, hey, I don't want to do trading. I just want some crypto and I want to hold it in my account for, you know, savings or whatever it might be for those people don't worry spot trading is not going to be trading we are just buying some crypto but it's going to just help you to buy at a lower price so you're just going to click on spot over here and make sure you're on the spot trading graph then click on buy then you can enter a price that you want to buy at so usually it's going to be a price lower than the current market value currently the price is going at 17230 so let's say i want to buy at when it reaches at 17230 two zero zero uh, and then i can enter the amount that i want to buy so let's say i want to buy one btc when the price reaches that and then i can put in buy btc and this will put in a open order at the bottom from the top left you can click on this graph over here to choose any token of your choice and you can choose any blockchain of your choice so you can choose bitcoin token pairs you can choose any other token pair of your choice with any basic fiat as well to go on ahead and purchase the token at a lower price it's not really that low but it can save you quite a bunch of money if you are purchasing a bunch of different tokens so if you are purchasing a lot then you definitely should purchase off the spot market instead of putting in a direct order from your credit or debit card because in that situation you will be paying a premium and the, that premium can really add up for larger purchases for smaller purchases it's totally fine to do that but for larger purposes i do recommend going with spot trading instead of direct buys now if you want to buy off another trader directly you can click on more over here click on person to person trading and you can click on buy and you can see the different options that are available you can see currently btc ethereum kcs and usdc are not available to purchase in person to person trading for some reason but you can buy usdt so you will take the usd that you used uh directly and then convert that into your usdc and that will be used to then purchase the token of your choice so in this way you can convert any token that you have so any fiat currency let's say you deposited aud australian dollars so you can click on that and convert your australian dollars into a usdt and then use that usdt to purchase the token of your choice and in this way you can go on ahead and purchase crypto directly on the kucoin application so I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with KuCoin. It's relatively simple. It's not as hard as a lot of people think it might be. And it is a super smart exchange. It has a lot of other features and it is jam-packed with different levels for optimization for all types of users. And I would recommend this exchange from anywhere to a beginner to a pro because they also offer you automations like trading bots, grid bots, future bots that can really simplify intraday trading. So if you are an intraday trader, if you want to trade, every day and make profits on a daily basis then creating a spot grid or a infinity grid can really really help your trades and the overall portfolio that you might be growing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video